I knew getting old and dating, I knew I was getting old looking at the dating scene. D.C. to Virginia Beach, it's wild out here. It's, it's wild out here. It's wild. It is. I'm, I'm not even going to lie. Like, um, it's just, I guess, it's just the expectations that has been set. Um, I, I, t- I tell women this, and it's, 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 it's rough. It is rough. Bring, bring the value you need to bring. I can't outsource it. If I can't outsource your value, then that's the value that you need to bring to me. If I can outsource it, oh, I clean. I can, I can, I can get a maid. You yeah. cook. I can get a chef. Right. Uh, I can give you a little bit of this. Oh, I can pay for that from somebody else. Right. <laughs> if I can outsource the responsibilities, right. then you're not worth what you nah, think you're worth. I, I can't outsource love. Uh, Bring- now we're getting into it. Now, I didn't even peep this game initially, but I think it's important that I go there for a second. Are y'all peeping the game that not only did y'all set y'all selves up to be exed out, but even the bare minimum qualifiers are now being eliminated as well? It used to be a thing to where women can say, well, I bring cooking to the table. I bring cleaning to the table. You know what I mean? Like that would that was the entry level qualifier. Like, yeah, like you can come in then. Yeah, because I, I need somebody to know how to cook and clean and you know keep a house nice. Like, yeah, I need that. It's gotten so bad that now the brothers are saying, I don't need you for that though. I can pay somebody else to do that. Y'all really messed up. This is bad. Y'all, peep the game with your little big sis. It has gotten so bad that now the the entry level qualifiers are not enough to enter. Cook, bitch, please. I got Uber Eats. Cook, I got a chef. Clean, bitch, I can do that myself. I'm a grown ass man. I know how to cook and clean for myself. I know how to wash my clothes, but yeah, that's it. You can get a maid for that. That's light. Y'all have made such a mess that now the basic requirements are not requirements at all. You got to come with more than that. Peep that game. Not only did y'all ex yourselves out by saying, "Ah, oh, nah, you could, you can hire somebody to do that. You can hire somebody." It is so bad that even if you are willing to do it, it's like, "Yeah, no, I don't need you for that, though." Like, no, you don't have to outsource. I can cook and I can clean. He's like, "Be so." It's that bad. Men are like, "Now, so you can cook and clean, huh? <laughs> okay, so can I." It's that bad. This is, man, y'all messed up. Y'all, y'all didn't know how good y'all had it. 1300, y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe to some real talk. They didn't know how good they had it. Amen. I tried to warn y'all. I tried to warn y'all. Mm. It used to be, oh, yeah, man, she cook. She clean. She give me X. Guess what else now? Men are even outsourcing sex. Bitch, please. I, I can hire a worker for that. And she know what she doing better than you because, I mean, she has a lot of practice. It's that bad. Y'all messed up, up. Y'all had it so good to where a man... <clears throat> would go to work um start businesses uh put you up nice take you on vacations wine and dine you love you like men would go above and beyond for you and all you had to do was cook and clean y'all were so selfish and entitled y'all said i ain't doing it you need to tell me you're gonna give me all of that and i gotta cook and clean oh that's too much they didn't know. They didn't know. 
Zushu laughing, but they did not know. They knew not what they did. That was a deal. Do you understand me? That was a deal. Now, now it's like, now that, ain't, that ain't no good deal. Because I can outsource that. That's not a good deal because I can do that myself. That's not a good deal because technically that's basic shit that all humans should do anyway. But then on the flip side, you're getting all of this extra perk for no work. Like, nah, no thanks. Wait, so you want me to marry you and carry you and all you do is cook and clean? Bitch, please. I am not my granddaddy. It's that bad. They knew not what they did. They had it so good. Oh, girl, my, my husband, he do this for me. He do that for me. I ain't, girl, I ain't even got to work for real. I, I just do my little side hustle, you know. I, I, I sell my little Mary Kay. Yeah, you, all I do is cook and clean. You know, give him a little sex every now and again. And you know what I'm saying? Like, that's about it. Ain't got the world for cooking and cleaning. Now I'm in a life, I ain't doing all that. And that's all you do? That's all? <laughs> Y'all knew not. Bring me peace. Yeah. Now what they say? Let's take it back give you a little bit of this oh i can pay for that from somebody else right <laughs> if i can outsource the responsibilities right. then you're not worth what you nah, think you're worth. I, I can't outsource love bring me peace yeah that one thing that, the one thing they can't fucking do sometimes uh, bring me no distractions why they sitting there hey <laughs> the kids i mean that's what i need We're simple. It's 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 simple. It, it's simple, right? It's it's the uh, attention, right? And and women don't understand this from men, right? Especially a working man. If I if if we're working and we're doing all of this and our life is the way it is, right? And we're dating. And I just finished my job and I'm going out there to chill. What changes is now I have to entertain you. That's not peace for me. Right. Y'all know not what you've done. Y'all know not what y'all have done. Lord have mercy. The men are now like, it, it went from men not knowing their worth and their value at all to now realizing all that they're able to offer and bring and looking at y'all like you're peasants. Now I got to entertain you. And I'm the hardworking man. I'm the one out here busting my ass. Now, this, this is another job. You need to be entertaining me. Y'all, y'all fucked up. If you would just listen to what he's saying, he's essentially saying that being with a woman is too much work for what you get in return. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just entirely too much work. So me as a hardworking man, that has resources, that has value, that has money, that has assets. I, I just, it's too much of a headache and a hassle for me when I've already had to go out into the world and work so hard to then turn around and come home and cater to you. And that in and of itself is a job. Asking you what you want, asking you what you need, asking you about your day. Like that's too freaking much when i've already had to go out here and do the most just to make sure that you're well kept so a lot of these guys are like it's just way too much to do it's easier without you that is bad now peep the game peep the game on what uh gilbert is saying he's saying that dealing with today's selection of women 
it's a lot more of a hassle and headache than being by yourself. At least when I'm by myself, you know, I know that I'm going to be at peace because I'm not going to bring myself stress. Now. Like he gets into all of that. I'm going to play it in a second. But what I really want us to hone in on is the fact that we did ourselves a disservice by pretty much Xing ourselves out of the equation by saying like, look, you really don't need me because I'm not going to do anything for you anyway, but demand a bunch of shit. When we should have been showing and proving our value to these men by, again, making their lives more easier, more enjoyable, giving them things that they cannot outsource and buy, which is what they said, love, peace. I will go on to add respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, we messed up by not doing our part. By trying to be lazy and escape responsibility, all we did was escape commitment. All we did was escape stability and security by way of men that actually love us. All we did was escape marriage. So congratulations, y'all played yourselves. Y'all showed these men that actually I'm better off without you because you really don't bring me any value. And the value that you do bring, I can buy.